Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here is a look at the top stories we are following today. Police say the gunman who opened fire on the campus of Michigan State University last night, killing three people, has died. Officials say as students and teachers across campus were sheltering in place, police tracked down the suspect who shot himself as officers approached. His motive remains unclear, but video shows students running from a building with their hands raised while law enforcement moved in. Police plan to give another update on the incident at 8 a.m. A law many in Flint blame for the city's water crisis could soon be repealed. The local Financial Stability and Choice Act essentially gave the state appointed emergency manager control over a city government. Proposed legislation to repeal it was introduced in the state house February 1st. Flint city leaders say the broad powers given to the emergency manager had devastating financial consequences for many municipalities, including the city of Flint. All right, Bay City Electric Light and Power is showing the love today for Valentine's Day with the Customer Appreciation Day. The company will be at City Hall handing out free gifts and cookies. Anyone who shows up will also get the chance to enter a raffle for $100 of free energy. The event starts at 10 a.m. It goes until 4.30 p.m. All right, here's Matthew striking out your forecast for today. Thank you, Blake. For Valentine's Day, it's a little bit cold starting off, but we're back to 51 degrees for this afternoon. A lot of sun through the morning hours as well, but some light rain showers move in for the evening and just on and off and more scattered too. even into tomorrow morning. Some of that activity still holds, but by Wednesday afternoon, we're drying back out. Our rainfall total is also not a lot, especially compared to last week, only around a tenth to two tenths of an inch Those highest totals farther up north. But more importantly, with the rain moving in are the wind gusts that pick up for tonight and Wednesday. We could see some wind gusts around 45 to 50 miles per hour. So we have issued a first alert weather day for your Wednesday because of the potential for isolated power outages into our southern communities. There's also a wind advisory from the National Weather Service. This is for the thumb, the Tri Cities, the Central Michigan region, also into our southern counties. Those gusts again around 45 to 50 miles per hour and then another chance for some accumulating snow on Thursday. Briefly cooler at the end of the week, Friday down to 26. But then for the weekend, we dry back out and we return to the 30s and the 40s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.